My name is Summer. I work for a company called CI in the UK. I'm based in the UK. Uh, CI is a supply chain for the independent music companies. So if you have more questions about that, we can talk about it because I need to cover lots of things here. So we have seen very two big countries and compared to USA or Australia, we are very, very small, but we have more people, double the size of Australia, unfortunately. So it's a small, small land. It's a half size of UK, but we have 50 mil people in, in the country. So I just want to talk about just general Korea to begin with. So we have Korea who is now doing uh, Olympics. So you have heard of Korea. North Korea ha often make the news, so you know what's going on. Uh, kimchi and all the Korean food people enjoy their uh, culinary experience in Korea. And the other two are more important things. So the I put just Samsung logo because it's a part of technology you will see every single day. Either you're a household or you're mobile. It's Korean company. And the reason being that I, I think uh, the gaming session we talked about briefly about South Korea broadband connection, which I have my own experience about. So I moved to UK 2010. I, as usual, I tried to download a film, a film like a gigabyte. And my computer said, oh, you need a 365 days to download. And I, no, it can't be right. I was downloading in two minutes. So I do it again, do it again. And after a week, I realized, no, it's not possible in the UK because we just, UK didn't have that connection. So one, we are number one in the broadband speed. Uh, two, we're number one in internet usage. It's now 90%. My grandma tried to do a FaceTime to me. So that's how the career is like. And then three, we are smartphone penetration number one, it's 88%. So 88% of 5% is using non-Android, which means Apple. So the other thing, we are all music industry people, so we often talk about K-pop. Uh, Sai Gangnam Style happened in 2012, uh, when I started working in the music industry in the UK which was great because people were asking, people were curious. And also, Gangnam is where I actually born and raised. So it's my hometown. So everyone knows my hometown now. So Korea is the eighth biggest. We're a small country, I told you. Um, it's, uh, Australia was sixth, USA is first, but we are eighth. But we, there's more to it. So digital, we're sixth biggest. Oh, this is physical. Physical is sixth biggest. We actually was like 10th or 11th uh, previous years, and we just came back to six because there's a trick to it. It's not vinyl, it's a CD, because we have a big culture with idols. Idols usually have eight to 10, 15 members, and they have a box set of exactly the same CD with a different people's face on it. And the fans <laughs> just buy it. I never did that, but if you think about, let's say, uh, One Direction has four CDs and like, Oh, why don't I get just one CD? But K-pop fans are hardcore. So that's, that's the reason why we got six. Digital is a six, but digital, apart from downloading, the streaming is a we are fourth, and which means 4% four, four of the global streaming market is coming from Korea. And on top of it, we don't have Spotify. We have Apple Music, which is 1% of the market share. Uh, this is important thing. So it's 89% independent, 11% major label. Warner just got in because they had to close down their office early 2000 and they just starting, there's one person who is a president. So this is a leading Korean labels. But you can see everybody has entertainment in their name. It's, it's just so different market. I just call it talent because these guys are doing from A&R, management, label, distribution, everything. They just wanted to be entertain you. Uh, though the biggest thing about Korean music industry is that these guys go around the world to audition. I, I rarely hear about audition apart from like British Got Talent because these, these guys care. They do, they do want to find a talent all around the world. They don't really care the nationality. They go Thailand, they found a guy called Nikun. He's like, you do good singing. 
let's let's bring you to Korea and learn you learn Korean language, you learn Korean entertainment industry, and then we put you in the TV. And these things happen for a long time. So one of if you think about BTS, uh, BTS is a Korean boy band. They have been training three to five years. If you have heard about EXO, they train for 10 years. Very depends, but you usually people are casted at age of eight to 13, and you debut at 18 to 21. So that's the cycle. That's why the majors cannot do it. Did you think about Universal putting 10 years of their investment to one talent? No. So that's the reason why this makes sense. And that's how the Korean pop industry goes along. Obviously, this has nothing to do with the independent, mu the independent we think, alternative genre of music. So, uh, this is a $380 million and versus $13 million. So, we are exporting $381 million, which means that Korea industry, Korean music industry is a $330 million. So, within Korea, it's a smaller, smaller than we actually selling outside. And which means that if you combine these two, we are not eighth biggest. We have become fifth biggest music market. And 30 million is importing. I will touch that part later on. So this is a BTS. I don't know if you have seen American Music Award. They got uh, social awards. It was always awarded to Justin Bieber for six years. And it's now, they got it. I say ARMY. So ARMY is, the fan club. The fan club in K-pop operate globally, which means that they got into album chart in the U in the U.S. I think number ten, and they actually got album chart sixty two in the U.K., but they never visited the U.K. How did it happen? If you're going to the F Army U.K., I think BTS Army U.K. dot co dot U.K. They are the f they're the fan chapter of UK. They have a video, it's interesting to watch because these fans know where to buy their music to make it a chart. So they say, oh, you can buy from Apple, Spotify, this and this and that. Don't buy from Amazon because they don't calculate an official chart in the UK. They say those things in that video and they share it and they they encourage you to buy multiple times, even though it's the same copy. But people do it, and then they have, they're very proud of it. If they make it to 62 in the UK, the fan club get more recognized by other fans, and the army goes crazy, and they support each other. And another thing about the fandom is that if you have a look at the American Awards BTS um, performance, there's a chanting. They're chanting, and the chanting is actually prepared in advance, and everyone remembers it. So there's a slight chance of uh, just music going on, it's not singing, then the fan comes in and singing with, with them. So at the beginning, if you are seeing them playing, uh, performing, at the beginning, they just call their names, all of them. And there's other chanting. So this goes, very, very crazy about if you look at K-pop chanting on YouTube, you will see all different kinds of boy band, girl band have a different specific chanting for themselves and for different songs, which was organized by the fans. So that's another thing. Uh, the armies, but not only armies, but K-pop fans do the donations to make awareness and help the, the, their artists to be recognized out of the world because they want to help to raise a profile. The other thing was there was a guy called 2PM, the six boys. They decided to help uh, Southeast Asia, some developing world, but they don't want to give the money. So they said, we'll raise rice to give to the you know, developing world. And they, the fans raised 28 tons of rice. And that's it. That's, but that's not coming from Korea only. The fans are everywhere. So if you can help a little bit, they do it. Uh, the other thing, unique thing about Korea is content owner is a DSP, which is a weird. 
Uh, Spotify has their own entertainment company. Have you heard? Uh, it's it's kind of like that. So Melon is one of the one of the biggest uh, share of the market in in the digital in Korea. We do not have Spotify, I said. So that's like a 55 percent. The rest uh, claiming that they are second. Uh, by doing so. <laughs> So if I if say I'm an artist called IU who is uh, low end entertainment owned by Melon, and the Melon decides her release date, so my artist releasing on Friday, no one can. They can do that power, which is which is weird, but by by law you cannot do exclusive content. So even though you are releasing on the day, the others have to have her her content together. The exclusive is not permitted. So then if you are another artist wanted to release on the Friday and Melon says, no, you cannot release on Friday because my artists are released on Friday, which means that you need to find another day. We, we, cannot, we cannot really think about that, right? <laughs> so this is part we more can address. It's a 32% in 2000 was uh, Western pop and classical. Now it's 1% of the market share. Who's the 99%? Korean music. So another thing about K-pop, these guys are K-pop songwriters. I just look at the, their PRO and I look at their credits. Most of them are, who are they? They're not Korean. Norwegian, Swedish, Finnish, um, all the Scandinavians, which means that Koreans have been outside of Korea to get better song, where there's so many songwriting camps. Obviously, UK is one of the one of the countries now. We kind of away from Scandinavia only. UK, there's some area producers, but. Now it's going inwards. They're looking for more inside talent now. So this was probably 2006 to 2010 trend. It's now moved towards to finding someone from Korea. So 2018, I do not know what to say about Korean industry because they don't really accept other music much. It's 1%. Uh, you will see, I, I'm sure you will see more live music coming out from Korea and coming to London. So there was a, a boy band called Big Bang two years ago, had a two days of Wembley sold out. A uh, couple of months ago, there was an artist called Hyogo, I wish you, which, whom I really like. I wanted to go and see it because he's coming to London. The ticket was 65 quid. I was like, I'm not paying for that. <laughs> Uh, but you will see more K-pop coming along because, because even though it's very niche, they make 65 pounds of tickets and they sell it all. They don't go 10,000, they go 800. They do that. And uh, there's another artist came along to Coco. He's, he's, he's an R&B artist called Dean. There were, he was very good but his ticket was 120, didn't go. So you will see more Korean music coming out from it. I don't know what, there will be more diversity because you can see the one company has a 55 market share of the digital music in general. So there is another kind of form, another content owner trying to create another music platform. Uh, what is there for me? So you guys here probably trying to see whether I can do something in Korea. If you are a songwriter, try to find all the entertainment companies, uh, A&R people roaming around. They are somewhere. They're always there. I meet everyone there. South by, meet them. You see some young Korean girls going around and meeting people. You have to find that. Uh, if you are an artist trying to get into Korea, unfortunately, I would say don't bother. Because it's 1%, you are fighting 1% and you need to commit for a long time, which I, I really, really hope you can make it, but it's very, it's very competitive market. 
It's you know how you you don't know how much how many K-pop idols coming every every week. There's a com there's a TV TV program called Weekly Idol because uh, there's a weekly the new idol comes in. Everybody spend their ten years of time to become one idol. So uh, record record companies have to have your own licensing deal with local company because it's better because there's no Spotify. If you are a record company, you can have a look at your usage report, how much Korean people listen to your, your music in Apple. You, you will see the numbers. So if you have any more questions, I'm running out of time. So <laughs> if I didn't address you who you are and what you can do, you can come back and then we can talk about it. So thank you. Amazing.